If our identity, what we call culture, is a translation. What do I, what do I mean by uh, translation? I mean a movement from one meaning to another. So culture, for, uh, what we consider as culture, is a movement from various meanings of culture, of different communities that compose our national unit to a single one. This process of translation is, is very important when we're dealing internationally. But it depends on how we understand translation. Translation is not moving from one to, from A to B, which is an equivalent of A. Translation is this, the process of relationship, uh, as I was talking about previously. And translation is connecting and trying to understand, but also understanding from the beginning that there is no connection. But because there is no connection, and here I'm speaking as a linguist, because there is no connection, is, this is the reason why we need the connection. And, and I go back to why do we need language? We, we need language to communicate. To communicate is to bridge the gap between one speaker and another. And language does not guarantee that we bridge this gap. But exactly because I cannot guarantee that you understand me, that I have to continue to speak to you. Right? So it's hopeful, it's positive in this hope, it's in the communication, it's in the, the dialogue, in the speaking, that we may understand each other. But what we understand, when we understand, we can't, we can't define this. So when we look at different levels of international uh, instruments or uh, organizations, uh, depending on what, and this is something we've been talking about, depending on what the problem is, uh, we may have to go to the international community for help, even at a local level. And I was giving the example recently in Brazil where for sexual diversity, the uh, Ministry of Education produced a document to be circulated and discussed in schools, in the official school system on sexual diversity. Um, the, uh, the evangelical right reacted saying that this is teaching children immorality and uh, children uh, are in a process of acquiring morality so before they can discuss immoral issues, they have to have a concept of what morality is. So this, the Ministry of Education, this is not part of the educational process. The part of the educational process should be to, uh, a normative to acquire a certain morality. They convinced parents. Various parent, uh, parents agreed, and the Ministry of Education, the press supported the parents, and the Ministry of Education was forced to, to withdraw uh, this document. Now, anyone who defends uh, uh, sexual diversity in, in, in Brazil, for example, if they ha this is a local situation, then they, they will have to go to a, a global media, let's say, organization, in order to change the situation. 